there, this is Amy. Thanks so much for stopping by. If you are new to my channel, please make sure you take a moment to subscribe to my channel and then also hit the notification bell. That will allow you to receive notifications whenever I post something new. I'm always you know, posting painting videos. Most of them are glass painting, but then I do have some home decor type of things that I'm doing and we'll be trying to do some different projects here throughout the year. Today I'm going to show you a little bit about what's going on in my business. I am trying to create, and I don't know if you can see this very well with the colors, but some wedding dress hangers for a friend of mine's daughter's wedding. And because of the nature of the type of hangers that they bought, they're not conducive for our machine to actually do any engraving at the top. So I'm going to be painting on them and I'm just getting ready to do a sample for her. So I created a little stencil using my Silhouette Cameo machine and I'm going to demonstrate doing this. Just again, this is just a quick little how-to on uh, creating these and then I'm going to be adding a painted design down the arms. I will be doing one for each of the bridesmaids as well and they will be hanging their dresses. It's going to be an Indian wedding so there is a need for a bar to come across to hang their, their bottom part of their outfit which I typically don't offer that type of a hanger. <clears throat> Excuse me, so my friend went out and purchased them. This is just a sample hanger, an old hanger that I had. So I'm not using her, her good hanger. Just doing the sample right now for her so she can see it and then give me a yay or nay if that's how she wants it done. So anyhow, I'm going to be uh, removing the stencil. Well, I did remove the little stencil, but I need to get the inserts removed from the inside of the A and the E. So we'll get that taken care of. Okay, so I hit it with a hair dryer just to dry it a little bit while I'm trying to get the center part out of the grace. And using my weeding tool, I'm getting picking that up, hopefully. Getting this one off without making too much of a mess. These little pieces are really kind of hard to deal with, but again, this is just purely for sample purposes. Now, it looks like there is a lot of bleeding that happened with that E, so I'm going to go ahead and use my little tool here to scrape the paint while it's wet. Then I'm going to come in here with my nail brush. It's an angle spotter, zero by Princeton. There's a thing on here. Anyways, and I'm going to use my metallic silver. I wanted I wanted a color that would actually show up, especially with it being so dark. And I will show you the design or I should say the inspiration to the design that I will be painting. And that's why I chose to go with silver as opposed to gold. Because I just thought it would flow nicer with the color scheme of her save the dates. I just did a little pressure. Now I could just really with the stenciling part just clean it up a little bit and be done. But I just thought I'd go over it with my painting brush instead of just cleaning it up and going on. You could also use one of the tips that I use for my brush or my bottles and put it on a little thicker with that. I did I chose not to do that on this project. I just want it to be nice and smooth, not anything protruding as far as the painting goes. Yeah, the stenciling did pretty well. I just like to clean it up a little bit. So there you go. And that's just nice and easy. And I think that's a pretty font. And then I'm going to show you what I'll be doing for the design itself. Okay, so here is the inspiration for the painting on the hangers. Now oh, this is more of a watercolor type, so Trying to do it in acrylics is not, it's not going to have the same 
same technique at all. It's just an inspiration piece to use. So I am, I kind of played around with a little bit. You can see the different colors on my plate, but I think I'm going to stick with the wicker white, the hydrangea, light lavender, and true blue. And just trying to add a little bit in here and there. I'm going to start off at the top here with the lavender and just double load my brush with the light lavender and my wicker white. That's like that. We have our mix. She's into being afraid right now, so she's barking a little bit and running around trying to find a place to hide. I'm not sure what kind of ghost I have in the house today, but anyways, let's go ahead and get started. I apologize if she starts barking, but I'm going to start up here by the name with the light lavender and the wicker white. And I'm basically just doing, going to be doing a, for the most part, a four petal flower. Some parts it'll be maybe part of a flower. But I'm just going to do it in a few places, trying to acclimate, trying to add in, I should say, some of the colors that are in this, and it's, or save the date. And I'm going to paint under here a little bit. So I say watercolor and painting with acrylics are two different beasts. So now this one's going to be more of a five petal. All right, so when I'm switching to another color, I'm just going to scrape my brush off and then go into the paint colors that I want to be using. All right, so now I've got the hydrangea blue. And this might take, you know, adding some more paint to the brush to cover uh, what, what I'm painting over, like so. And hopefully she likes it. Again, this is just being done as a sample. Just a little update on what goes on in my business. All right, so then I want to throw in a little bit of this true blue because there's a little bit of a darker blue in this in this uh, mixture. So I'm going to throw that in. I can't really see it too much, so let me add some more here. Yeah, I mean these these extra colors. I really don't want them to be uh, prominent. I'll pull that one down there a little bit, but I don't want it to really be a prominent petal by any means. All right, so I have that. Then I'm going to go ahead and go back into my hydrangea blue. And then come back over this. So you will pull from some of the colors underneath, which is fine. Because on this piece, I do really want them to be a little bit underneath, you know, where you can see it. But again, the lighter blue being more the prominent color. And you can even twist it, turn it around, and put a white one in there if you want. It's just with the with the arms of the hanger not being very wide, it makes it a little bit more challenging than if you were actually trying to do do this on a bigger piece. I think. Cause then you can get like that, and you maybe even want to add another another stretch of the darker or the lavender, either way, just so that you continue on with that theme as you're going. And 
And again, this this ad or not ad, but the save the date is just an inspirational piece to kind of pull from. I was trying to put in a little bit of the a little bit of the orange into it because there's a tad bit, but I found that that was just too too much. I didn't really want it to look like early Halloween. I really wanted it to be pretty. And actually the way they created their hydrangeas are a little bit different than I would. So that made a, made a challenge too. But again, what are you going to do? You know, when you're dealing with watercolor, that's to be expected. Watercolor designs. I love it, but it's hard to mimic in acrylic. All right. So, looks like I maybe need a little bit more of this, the true blue. So I'm going to come back over here, throw a little bit of that into this mix. And in something like this, I don't even have to put a whole flower. I can just do it as a partial flower. And then just keep coming down the arms of the hanger. I'm not going to come all the way down. I'm just going to come a little ways. But I think that's pretty. I mean, it's pretty simple, but it's pretty. You wipe that off a little bit. And then maybe just do a few little... No, might even just leave it like that. Kind of like that. What do you think? Yeah, it's pretty like that, I think. And then I'll come back over here and try to repeat a very similar process here. I might want to wipe my brush off more, even clean it out so that I'm not getting too jumbled up with the paint. Oh, I put, dipped it in the wrong thing. That would be helpful, huh? I'll wipe it off again. All right, so. I'm just going to continue doing it this way. And again, this is just my sample. So it doesn't have to be perfect. It's just a, this is what we could do kind of deal. And I think I'm going to add more white on here. Let me go ahead and mix, blend that in a little bit. I like these flowers to paint. They're fun. So basically on this, <clears throat> I'm just doing, kind of pushing and pulling up to the tip and then pulling back down and then pulling, basically repeating it. They can be in three, you know, four petals, five petals, three petals, it doesn't matter. It's whatever, however it works into your design. And you can keep layering over the top of these flowers because, you know, in the real life, as I mentioned often, you know, the flower leaves, petals, whatnot, they don't just lay perfectly. They are on top of each other a lot of times, or overlapping. So it doesn't have to be a perfect, you know, you, you lay here and you lay here kind of deal. It's, you know, get it, get it wherever you can get it to lay. And you might be overlapping some, which again is fine if you're overlapping. Not a big deal. Because to me, I think that makes it more, more authentic, really. All right, so I'm just going to keep doing this and trying to mimic the other side. Not identical. It's not going to be identical by any means. I'm going to throw another lavender in here and just to try to get the colors at least what I'm seeing is colors in that save the date they very very pretty I really do like it Get some 
off my paintbrush. I do not like too much paint on my paintbrush. Do not. I mean, you could even do these in, instead of doing two colors at a time, do them in one color. It doesn't matter. That would be pretty too. I mean, as far as, say, do, instead of me mixing the wicker white with the blue or the hydrangea blue, just do hydrangea blue. And then maybe do a white one. And then maybe do the lavender. I think I need to add another one of these in there. At least a partial. So my brush keeps getting a little, a little full of paint. So I'm not really cleaning it off in between. All right, gonna leave it like that, and then I'm gonna come here. And it looks like I might have put a little bit of a white one here. Pull it down. That one here. And pull it up here and then maybe turn it around and then just come down with the single blue all right and then what I would do in the center let's take the end of the paintbrush typically I would do a more distinct color but I think on the actual invitation it's and these aren't coming out very well but it's um, blue so, and I just got some on there. That's why I'm sticking with the blue. But whatever color you choose, and this is coming off, I might use a stylus instead to do this. But I'm just trying to put dots in wherever I can just to make it, and fill it up, make it look nice wherever I can. And with the paint being wet still, sometimes that's uh you know, they don't the dots don't look as nice. But anyhow, there you go. I might do something up here, maybe even put some a little bit of green into it. Maybe do something a little bit around. Maybe even just do some swirlies around there. Huh. Alright, let me know what you think. I'm gonna leave it up here. And until the next video, make sure you've, you're subscribed, you hit the notification bell, you like this video if you do like it, and you share it with your friends and family on your social media. There's a little button below the video that says share. Make sure you share it. I'd appreciate it. And I will see you the next time. Have a good one.